things about scales. Scales make up the music, but they don't always make up the music in the way that they're written in the scale books. Never ever play scales without expression. To me it doesn't make any sense. When would you ever want to play music with no expression? So I really encourage you to play scales in a way that is singing through the instrument and talking and telling a story. When you're doing a scale, say you're doing D major, um, it would be written in the book probably like this. I'll do that again, I'll play it with a bit more expression. Now can you hear the difference? I'm sure the audience is going to say, wow, even though she's playing a series of D major scales, that girl has something to say. So rather than just practicing the scales as written, I really encourage you to make up your own exercises. Play everything you can find. If your study is in D major, for example, play D major in thirds. Play D major where you start on E. Uh, play D major where you start with an anacrusis so that the D is not always falling on the main part of the beat. Um, there are a number of really fantastic exercise books by Tafanel Gobert, Marcel Moise, Trevor Y, and all of these books give you sort of what I call five finger exercises where you can actually play around the scales in the way that they would probably occur in a piece.